Hey everyone, it's Jeff from Programmer vs. World, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the differences between a service and a service factory in OSGI. So in order to really show this, let's open up a sample project and play with it a little bit. I always find that experimentation is always the best way to see the impacts of these annotation changes. So I'm going to show you one. Let me close this guy for now. I'm going to show you my, my sample project, and then we'll go in a little bit in depth as to why all this stuff is in here. Firstly, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five different bundles that we're going to install. One is our API bundle that's just going to hold our interface for a greeter. So our greeter bundle is really simple. It's just going to be able to get a greeting and then be able to set the message. And the set message itself is going to be done from a set of GoGo -Go commands that we've built for it. Uh, we have the actual implementation bundle, which is a single greeter implementation that starts off initializing itself to field level greeting as its default. And inside there as well, we have a set of commands, one to actually get the greeting, one to actually set it. And those will be, both be done through the GoGo -Go shell. We also have two servlets, uh, servlet, num servlet A, <laughs> servlet number one, servlet A registered to the path servlet A is actually just going to bind to whatever greeter implementation it can find and show you what the greeting is. Okay, simple enough. Servlet number two is a little bit different. Servlet number two is actually going to grab every single reference it can find, add them to a collection, and when you hit that servlet, it's going to list all of the running implementations of Greeter that it found. And I'll show you why that's important a little bit later. And that's all we have going there. So let's go ahead and start up. So inside here, we of course have a greet command. Uh, greet command's already bound to a bundle and it's gonna give us a field level greeting and it shows us right here the address of the specific Java object that it has. Now I needed it to show you that so that I could show you something about the servlets too. Now each servlet's in its own bundle and when I refresh that though, I'm actually getting 1d8bd0de, which is the same address that the greeter Gogo -go command is bound to. And if I look at servlet B, I can see that it's getting the exact same address too, which is pretty interesting. So if we go in here and look at our bundles, we'll see that the greeter, this is where the Gogo -go commands actually are, servlet A, which is right here, and servlet B are right here, are all in three different bundles, yet they're all getting the same reference for the greeter. This means if I come in here and I actually set the is it greet set? Let me run a help real fast. Greet set. So if I come in here and actually set this to something different, right? I'll update the greeter and I'll see a brand new message, but it's also updating all the servlets because they're all bound to the same reference. And this brings up probably one of the biggest points that you need to know about OSGI, which is by default, all components are singletons. So what would happen if we didn't want this type of behavior? What if we wanted each servlet to have its own copy and be able to set its own variables independently and for the actual greeter go, go command not to impact them? Well, that's what the service factory attribute is for. So if we go on our actual implementation and we look right around here, we'll see that there's a service factory attribute, notice it is not camel case like designated factory or configuration policy. I'm not sure why that is. But if we set this value to true, we now should get a completely different set of behavior. So let's go back first and look at our addresses. If we look, greet has an address of 61FA3409. Servlet A now has 2D9C5AB0. Well, that's different. That's a completely different address. And if we go over here to servlet B, we'll notice that it has 154DAEF4, which is different from the other two, but this is supposed to be listing all the instances, but for some reason it only detected one. Interesting. That's because the service behavior of a service factory set to true makes sure that each person that asks for it always gets a unique one. And even though, oops, sorry guys, even though servlet B said, I want every single reference you have that implements it, the factory will only give it one because there is only one service factory serving up that specific type. And the rule is everybody gets one unique instance. This also means that if I come down here and I greet set, 
I can't type again. And we'll just set this to a bunch of Z's. We'll notice that the one bound to the greeter bundle is actually getting the new message while the others won't, of course, because they are completely different references. They still have field level greeting on each side of one of them. And that's essentially the difference.